Hello, Pisces. This reading is for you. This will be the second half of November. I hope all is well with you, Pisces. Let's see what these Oracle cards have to say. Let's see. Right now, joy and delight. Okay. What else do we have for Pisces? We have learn from life. At the very bottom, we have earth magic. Okay, so you are you tapping into your earth magic? Are you tapping into something that you're working on, Pisces? We have the power of purpose. So maybe you're finding your purpose this time. Maybe that's what you're... getting into and we have great and full okay at the bottom we have the storyteller so yeah you could be <laughs> telling your stories at this time Pisces telling your great stories um, or you could be a writer you could could definitely be a storyteller. Maybe that's your life purpose. But whatever you're doing, I feel like it's bringing you a lot of fulfillment at this time. Great energy. Okay, so we have Akasha and Daniel. So Akasha, you are a spiritual teacher. You have the ability to counsel others and help them awaken their spiritual gifts and divine life missions. Okay, and you also have Daniel. I am the angel of marriage and I am assisting you right now. Interesting. And at the bottom you have, keep charging ahead and don't take no for an answer, Pisces. Expect miraculous solutions to appear so yeah this could definitely be a great time for you hmm. let's get some tarot Pisces let's get some tarot cards and see what is in store for Pisces seven of Pentacles okay We have the Three of Pentacles. We have the Eight of Cups. We have the Two of Cups. We have the Six of Wands. We have the Ten of Swords. We have the Knight of Pentacles. Oh, okay, so these two wanted to come out. We have the Ten of Wands and the Seven of Swords. Okay, and at the bottom we have the King of Swords. Okay, Pisces. Let's see. With the Seven of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles. I feel like you're working with people on a situation. I, I feel like it's more than one. Um, But I feel that you are, you're working on something. You're feeling like if it's worth your effort to finish it. You're feeling like walking away from the situation. But maybe others in the situation are telling you to hold on. 
someone's got an idea to keep going. But I feel like you, you're ready to leave this behind. I feel like you're ready to walk away from it. Whatever this is, if you just hang tight, and I think whoever's telling you to stick into the situation, I think that they're actually giving you good advice because whatever this is that you're working on is going to be successful. You're going to have victory in the situation. This is going to be a new beginning for you. I feel like anything that was old in your life is now done and over with. I feel like everything is coming to a new beginning. That's what I feel for this situation. I feel like what is dead is gone and it's bringing forth something brand new. And you have the Knight of Pentacles. So I feel like you're you're not really at a standstill, but you're moving very slow in the situation. You're taking your time. You're being patient. But you're working hard. You're working hard in the situation. <coughs> I feel like this is kind of, the situation has kind of put a lot on your shoulders. You've carried a lot of weight through the situation, whatever this is. And maybe with this Seven of Swords energy. Someone's trying to take something away from you. They're trying to steal it away. But you're holding on tight. You're holding on tight to your harvest. Something that you've worked very hard for, Pisces. I feel like you're hanging on tight to the situation. You're not going to walk away. You're not walking away. You've had the thoughts linger in your mind to walk away from the situation, but you're not walking away. You're going to see it through. Let's clarify these cards a little bit. Let's get some clarity. With the Seven of Pentacles, we have the Four of Cups. Yeah, you've been you've been all in your head about the situation. You've been overthinking a lot of things. Yeah, you've definitely been overthinking, but I feel like you're going to be surprised by the, yeah, you have the Nine of Swords again. Oh, not again, sorry. You have the Nine of Swords, so... With this Three of Pentacles, I feel like working with these people has been really hard. If you've been working with the team, <coughs> I feel like maybe all of the different personalities, all the different ideas has kind of left more left more questions than answers is what I want to say but you have the page of pentacles so I feel like 
once all these things um, come together, you're going to receive a communication that's going to actually provide you with the answers. Communications come in Pisces. It's on the way. With the Two of Cups, you have the King of Wands. And I feel like this is your energy, Pisces. I feel like um, with you being your creative self, I feel like you're going to be the one to come up with all the answers. I feel like you're going to take charge in the situation. Maybe you're the leader, the team leader, or something. This may be work, this may be a relationship, but you are going to take the lead. You're going to take the lead. You are going to assert your power, your charm. You also have the Queen of Wands. So, yeah. Okay. So, this may be a love situation. Um, if this is a relationship that you're having a hard time with, I feel like communication, you're, you're going to take time to communicate the situation. With the Ten of Swords. We have the Page of Swords. So yeah, in this communication, you're going to receive a lot of truth. You're going to receive the answers that you've been waiting for. Some of the answers may cut like a knife, but they are the answers that you've been wanting resolved. Does that make sense? You have the answers that, that are going to bring you to your conclusion. With the Knight of Pentacles, we have the Empress. Okay. So being patient, moving slow in the situation is actually going to make all the difference. This is actually going to create something that's more beautiful than was before. Something that is more successful. But I feel like whatever this is, you've been wanting it to get better for a while. With the Emperor showing up here, um, it could also mean that if you're in a relationship, it could be that... It could be that you're, you could be expecting with the King of Wands, the Queen of Wands, and the Empress. Now, you know the, the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands, they're very, very passionate. They are very sexual. They are very compatible. The Empress, she's very fertile. She's fertile for new life. So, yeah, this could be a new, a new birth. If this isn't a relationship, it could be a new birth to the situation. It could be a renewed situation. And you have the Knight of Cups. And you have the Chariot. So, I feel like in this situation with the, the, the Knight of Cups, you may have to propose. <laughs> Or you may get a proposal. This may be a proposal. And you have the you have the chariot as well. So this could be something that is moving you into a new time. It is a change coming through. 
But I feel like this is the direction that you need to go to. The Three of Wands. Okay, and the Two of Cups again. So yeah, this could definitely be love. This could definitely be love. Pisces, I would get that pregnancy test. Yeah, this could be you and your person really creating a future together. I love how these general readings, they just turn course 360. That's probably why you received the, um, the angel card. I'm the angel of marriage and I'm assisting you right now. So yeah, if you were having trouble in your marriage, I feel like you definitely come into a turning point. You're going to be looking more towards the future with your person. If this is work, I feel like you are you're at a point where things have stopped being so stagnant and you are moving into a better situation. And you have the two of wands. So it's it's definitely a new beginning for you. This is something that's moving you into a new direction. But you're definitely thinking about the future. You're definitely thinking about what you can create. Yeah, and it is definitely a new beginning. This is definitely you transforming yourself into something totally different. And I feel like whatever is moving is going to be moving more swiftly. It's going to be moving um, at a faster pace. <clears throat> or this is you needing to take faster action. Start being in that patient mode. It, it's time to take action on the situation. Two of Wands again. Okay. So yeah, definitely. Definitely this is something that you are moving forward on. And you have the moon at the bottom of the deck. So this is definitely your energy, Pisces. Definitely your energy. Let's get a few Oracle cards. To see what it is that you may, may need to work on during this time to help bring this flow to the situation. What advice do we have for Pisces? Abundance. I am the limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. Wow, beautiful. So you're manifesting abundance and purpose. I know what I am here to do. Okay, Pisces. One more. Happiness. Wow, okay. I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. Okay, so whatever this is that you're going through, this is something that's going to bring you a lot of joy, abundance, happiness. This is something that is truly up your aisle here, um, Pisces. Usually when I'm doing your readings, you, are, you have these extraordinary, <laughs> exciting readings. But I feel like you are... 
I feel like you're coming into a new life change. I feel like you are really transforming yourself and really thinking about your future, Pisces. You have, when I lean towards love, I am led. And you have, in every moment, the universe is conspiring to bring me towards right-minded thinking and the energy of love. Wow, so there's a lot of love in this. At the bottom is, through prayer and meditation, I create a ripple effect of peace in the world. So yeah, okay. That is your reading, Pisces. If this reading has resonated with you, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uh, further uploads. Um, make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for other messages that may resonate with you. You may have other messages in um, other parts of your sign. And many blessings to you. Love and light.